So it is the next morning. Didn't really get much sleep because there was so much partying going on. I actually ended up sleeping in the cab of the truck. Got probably about four or five hours of sleep. But yeah, we're all just out here chilling, enjoying the nice cool weather. Amanda and Steven slept in that tent. Matt slept in that one. You guys sleep okay? Yeah, pretty decent. Good, actually. Matt, you sleep good? Yeah, as good as I'm ever gonna sleep here. <laughs> yeah, as, as good as you'll ever sleep at a track with race cars driving by, people being loud, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm getting a lot of complaints from these guys and a lot of other people that the car is just so quiet. So we're thinking about taking off the exhaust, or at least this portion of it right here, to then see how loud it is. All right, scratch that, never mind. We can't remove the exhaust, mainly because where the headers mate and come into one pipe, we have a slip joint right there that we can undo, but it would literally just be adding all that extra stress from this length of piping to the headers. So yeah, that's not gonna work, unfortunately. You guys will just have to deal with me being a quiet drift car. Probably the quietest out there. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. It is the quietest. <laughs> <laughs> we have a wild Taylor sleeping in like an adorable baby right now. Sweet dreams, baby Taylor. So we are drifting until two o'clock today. So I figured I'd take you guys just so you could see just how big this event is. So they're running Time Attack now, and all of those people down there are the ones that are only here for Time Attack and drifting and all that stuff. You have so many more people back behind here that are camping out in all these woods and stuff. It's pretty crazy. And look at that. That's pretty cool. And you have all these other people right in front of the stage for all the concerts that they have. It is literally like Forza Horizon in real life. It's it's pretty crazy. You got BC Racing, the Gum Out Crew, Forsberg and Turk chilling right here. You got the Falcon booth with all the Falcon cars, Dai, Yoshihara, all those cool guys. Monster Energy with their Mustangs, Pro 2 guys that are just absolutely mental. LZ and his crew. There's Hurt. That thing's sick. And then here we are. Right up over here. So they're running, like, I guess Group D of the Time Attack? I, I don't really know how all this stuff works. I'm mainly here for the drifting. These people are just taking this corner, like, super quick. You know, I used to think that the drift drivers were the crazy ones, but these Time Attack guys are just as crazy. my favorite car out here right now. Pretty much a bone stock odyssey. That's awesome. Got my fellow 8-6 brethren squatted up right over here. Oh look, it's Zach. Stuck. There's that dude in blues, 2J S13 hatch. Never seen that in person yet. It's nice. So I guess this is the result of a little smash into the wall. Airbags popped, all that. Man, this is why safety is important. Poor S2000. It looks like it'll be salvageable. Frame might be bent past the shock towers, but straighten that out, new front end, she'll be fine. Which makes me think about the time I hit the wall. You know, it happens. You know, you, you can't expect to go out, drift, race, do whatever, and not make mistakes, because it's bound to happen. All right, so first run of the day. Got Steven's girlfriend, Amanda, with me. Let's do it.
happens when you stance your cars and drift. Just kidding. I feel bad for them. But that takes away track time from everyone else. So first session of the day was pretty good. Unfortunately, some people went off track and that just slowed everything down. My tires got down to like probably 20% life. I figured I'll go ahead and switch them. So I put on the 370Z wheels. I'm running about 24 PSI, which is kind of a little bit too low, um, but I don't really have time to go pump them up. So uh, we're just gonna send it. but I really haven't got to tandem much with Taylor or Adam. And we have the cars lined up so that as soon as we go out to grid, Taylor and I can be right next to each other so we can get the tandems that we've always wanted. So I just pulled up back in Orlando. It's almost one o'clock Sunday night, and I am finally back 
from Grid Life. A couple of little things before I go. I owe a big shout out to Matt, Steven, and Amanda for coming with me, hanging out, helping me film. Without their help, this video would not be possible. So please do me a favor, go check out their Instagrams down below, give them a follow. It would mean a lot to me. Secondly, I want to apologize if this video is kind of rushed or choppy, but I really just want to say how awesome of a time I had getting to meet all of you guys, as well as getting to hang out and drift Road Atlanta. Even though I did struggle a little bit, I really do feel like I did a pretty decent job considering it was my first time drifting the S13. But either way, I had a blast and I cannot wait to drift again. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you to all of you that have subscribed. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.